This is Metal Mike. And I'm his son, CGM. And we want to welcome you to Father to Son Metal Reaction. Yes. Well, hey, a lot of people out there, dads, if you're big into metal and hard rock, you probably always wanted to get your kids into hard rock and heavy metal, but it doesn't always work. Why doesn't it work, CGM? I'm telling you right now, all the kids my age, they listen to these rappers like Drake and Travis Sky. It's just, oh, it's crazy. Well, hey, this guy's no slouch. Why don't you tell him some of the bands that you are into? Well, I'll tell you right now, I'm really into the Beatles. They're like number one band. I'm really into Queen. Queen is amazing uh, and I also dabble a little bit in Kiss too I like them as well yeah see a chip off the old block but this guy hasn't listened to a lot of hard rock heavy metal hair metal any of that stuff let me ask you something CGM do you spend a lot of time listening to Wasp no not at all have you really ever heard Wasp Maybe one time, but like not really. But no, I don't. I couldn't tell you a single song from Wasp. So. Well, let me tell you a little bit about the history of Wasp. Wasp is led by vocalist, bassist, and guitarist Blackie Lawless. Now they came out a little bit darker and heavier than your average hair metal band. Wasp were popular in the '80s, but they never achieved the level of success like bands like Motley Crue, Poison, and Death Leopard. The band borrowed their look and stage antics from people like Alice Cooper and Kiss. Now Wasp has gone through various lineups different images and style changes throughout their history. So let me tell you something, CGM. With their lyrical content and some of the antics they used to do, they'd throw meat at the crowd. Whoa! Oh. They'd shoot sparks with a flaming cod piece. They would not make it in today's overly PC world. Are we in an overly PC world? Yeah, it's, okay. it's pretty... <laughs> that, that sounds intense <laughs> to me, yeah. All right, so are you ready to check out some Wasp? I guess I am. I mean, that, that sounds pretty scary, but yeah, we'll, we'll check it out. This is Wasp. I want to be somebody. Okay, we got the saw. Looks like a very old Halloween movie. Oh, boy. I recognize him from the, the metal beatdown. <laughs> Notice the saw blades on the yeah. Episode. One thing I do like is everyone's got an instrument in their hand. It's like the Beatles, everyone's playing something. Oh, <laughs> oh he's a, this guy's aggressive, holy crap. Looks like they're at a, a fair or something. Or it sounds catchy. Yeah, look at this bond, honestly. Alright, let's take a break from it. Initial reactions. I mean, it's it's a little it, it's uh, okay, I understand glam is a little bit heavier, but this is heavy for my taste. Like I'm I'm usually into more like mellow tracks, like even like if I'm listening to Kiss, like the most heavy stuff, it's it's not that heavy. Right, this is this right. is much heavier yes, than anything yes. I would ever usually listen to. Yes. Um, but overall, I mean, the chorus sounds catchy. Like I want to be somebody, yeah. you know. It, it sounds pretty catchy. One thing that I thought about with Wasp, uh, and I kind of try to make a correlation to the Beatles. Now you got to take in consideration this is their first album, so just think okay. about like early Beatles. You made the the comment that everybody has an instrument in their hand, right? And think about kind of what they're saying. Think about like when um, the Beatles did "Money." That's what I want. I know that's a cover, right? Right. But it's the same premise. You know, Wasp are a new band. They're hungry. They're going for it. They want to be famous. So just put, you know, take All that right. in consideration. All right. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. You like the white streaks in the hair? This guy's a freak. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Oh, now they're all congregating, getting ready. So now is Blackie like the main lead singer? He is the main lead. Yeah, he okay. writes all the songs, and he's the only oh, constant nice. member that's been through the whole run. Drummer's got a crunch on a cymbal there. Yeah. yeah okay. Perched on a stone. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> the guitar is playing. He's, sometimes he's not even strumming it. <laughs> it's a music video. I caught him some slack. Man, I, I know that it's the guy on the right. He's banging his head a crap ton. I think that. Chris Holmes. Oh gosh, now what's going on? <laughs> you gotta have the limo. The limo with the girl <laughs> ladies. Okay. Cross all the time? Cross all the time. Yeah. Notice how it's kind of a melodic solo. It's not like right. totally crazy. It fits. The beat guitar? Yeah, like, if I were to play that guitar solo in Guitar Hero, because that's one of my favorite games, you know, I'd be satisfied. Play guitar. What? <laughs> oh my god. This is, this is a little cheese right here. This is chips. This is your standard, <laughs> <laughs> this is your standard, like, live part when you get the sing along going with the car, the crowd. Oh no, I got the fire. Oh, <laughs> he's lighting up the entire place. Oh boy. And I love how the Watts, Watts thing just kind of, like, appeared out of nowhere. Right in the middle of the video. Low budget video. Kind of like the one we're filming right now. <laughs> <laughs> Us and Watts, we ain't so different, right? Right. Head bang. Oh, yeah. Oh, you gotta get the, the hair spinning. Oh, no. What's he doing now? A little bloody blood, blood type stuff. Where did we have gotten that from? Kiss? Yeah. I bet. So you got to be seeing some of the Kiss references. Right. I mean, yep. There's a lot of Kiss uh, there's takeaways some, there's there. There's some Kiss vibes. That maybe, a, maybe it's a little bit heavier than Kiss. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, I, I thought it was a good song. Mm -hmm. It's a little heavier for my taste, like I said in the beginning. Uh, guitar solo was solid. I like the guitar solo. Uh it's just he, Blackie Lawless, man. He's a freak. He's a freak of nature, honestly. That's just oof. One thing, and once again, I don't want to keep making Beatles comparisons, and I don't think anybody out there would ever put Wasp and Beatles in the same league. But, I hope not. but uh, um, Wasp did evolve. And this, you got once again, I said this, you got to take it into context. This is their first video, this is their first single off their first album. So they did progress. Um, especially as they got to the album, it's called The Headless Children. And who knows, if this takes off, maybe we'll check out some Headless Children. But with that album, uh, it was a lot of political overtones, okay. nuclear war, a uh, lot of about fascists like Hitler and mm -hmm. all those guys. It's all on the cover, the Ku Klux Klan. So he's speaking out about like uh, past injustices and social issues. So yeah. he's definitely evolved. He's done some concept albums where he's told different stories and stuff. So the guy's smart. He's a good songwriter. He's very talented. Um, but if you had to give this a rating, why don't we, we we've never, we didn't really discuss what we were going to do for a rating, but let's give it like, uh, four metal horns for okay. your, uh, for, for your, would be the best, is would be the best, would be a four. Okay. So in the context of what it is, once again, it's not, this is not Beatles, this is not right. Queen, this is Wasp, what are you going to give it for metal horns? Um, I mean, considering it was their first album, I mean, they tried to, you know, go for that kind of like crazy nature, you know. Um, song was catchy. I don't know how popular it was, but it seemed like it was pretty catchy. I, it probably did pretty well. Um, for, for metal, probably the four, man. Can I mean, you give it four metal horns? Sure. Yeah. I'll, so I'll give it the four. So he's sure. giving Wasp the four metal horns. Yeah. What'd, you, what'd you think of his voice? Did you think the voice was it's very unique? I Honestly, can't compare it to a lot of other people. Yeah, I mean, it sounded just like a very, like a very scream kind of voice. Yeah, screechy. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, seems like he has a solid voice for the kind of genre he's in. Uh, I would say if Blackie Lawless were to do a ballad, I don't know how great it would sound. I don't know if he's ever done ballads. He's, in the done, he's done ballads. He's done? Yes, oh, yeah. Now, see, could... if we make a follow-up, I, I, I like to hear Blackie Lawless do a ballad. That... He's done ballads. He All can right. do them. Yep, he can do All them. Right. Yep, yep. So if he can fluctuate his voice and do a ballad and do something heavy like that song, I mean, four metal horns, man. That, that was good. All right, you heard it, man. So my son enjoyed Wasp. Maybe I can get him into some more Wasp. So, hey, we'd like to do some more reactions. We'd like to expose them to some more cool metal, some rocking metal. So in the description, or actually, sorry, in the comments, why don't you just put what you'd like him to uh, to review next? And, and we'll do it. We'll watch the video, or, or if there's no video, we'll just listen to the song. But uh, Wasp, I want to be somebody's a keeper. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching Father to Son. Rock on. Rock on. <laughs>